morning, everybody. Well, I say that, but it's like noon. Uh, it spent all morning thunderstorming and just being being a mess outside. So I'm just now getting out here. But it is a beautiful, muggy, hot day. <laughs> nice breeze, though. What's up, chicken butts? Whoa, 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 whoa. I do believe that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So the chickens tromping through my squash. Speaking of squash, let's see. Oops, stepping on some leaves. Oh wow, we've got. Apparently, I've missed a couple for a few days. Oops. Those are big boys. Those are uh. Those are some big patty pans. <laughs> Something that's on the to-do li list today that I don't know if it'll get done just because Randy's still feeling quite under the weather. Um, a little worse today than what he did yesterday. Uh, but, um, and my ankle's hurting me so I don't necessarily want to be carting the, uh, the dirt fill, the compost back and forth. But, but hopefully I might be able to manage getting at least the wire uh, put up on this bed and then maybe whenever Randy and I are both feeling top-notch again we'll get it filled up with um, the compost. So this morning, <clears throat> or rather for whatever time is construct, um, for my first cup of coffee of the day I am testing the concept of bringing one of these Keurig reusable cups because you can see it fits very very comfortably inside the brim of my micro light thermos. Whoop! And see, that's what I was afraid of. Oh boy, cowboy coffee, here we go. Well, I'm gonna give this my undivided attention, <laughs> that way hopefully I don't end up with more grounds in my coffee and coffee. Well, that's a big old nope on that front. It brews my coffee at about the rate of five drips a minute. Um, I don't think this is, whoo, it's all steamy in there though. I was trying to get a view of inside the the thermos. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think this is going to work. I don't think this is the correct kind of, like if I had one that was just straight mesh instead of like the plastic parts as well, um, that might work out differently. So I'm gonna stick with my tried and true, this method. I just have to be really careful um, to keep it centered up over the top of my thermos. So I have a tablespoon and a half of ground coffee and everything's stacked up. And now I'm going to very carefully, very slowly, you can hear that's brewing through a lot faster. I just like to fill it up. And this is just a regular coffee filter. <laughs> if you didn't need to go to the bathroom before, you certainly do now. And I'm gonna top it off again. We've missed like a little iceberg of grounds there that aren't wet yet. And let's go for, I don't want to overflow it, but a third round, and I'm going to get that little iceberg, there we go. There we are, we still have all the stuff from the meat jerky gun, from doing beef jerky. Um, and you can hear the trickling is kind of slowed down as the grounds become more compact. Let's see if we can lift this without... Oh, making too much of a mess. That's just dripping on through. Probably have enough room for a fourth time fill into the top. There we are. And then I'm going to leave this be and let it just percolate on through. So, oh gosh. <laughs> oh boy. Well, this is life now. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Before I even get any coffee in me, while the coffee's still cooling, I am drinking... 
well, it was full. I refill these smart water bottles from filtered water that we keep in the fridge, but I just love the squeeze cap that, um, I'm really bad about like knocking cups over, like leaving them there and then they get a bunch of dog fur in them. So I like that it's a contained unit. Um, and I'm having some morning pills, more preventative than anything. I'm really hoping that it'll help just with the, the wear and tear on my ankles, y'all, has been, like, killing me. And I don't even know what, I mean, okay, I can't, I can't honestly say that I don't even know what's up. Because I am 240 pounds going from not walking at all to suddenly walking anywhere from one to three miles a night. Um, and so that, yeah, that kind of explains why my ankles have been, like, screaming in pain. Um, I need to, like, build up to it. Um but i really feel like they're feeling much much better today today will be day four of taking these pills and i don't know if it's correlation or causation but i'm gonna keep i bought the bottle i'm gonna keep taking them so we'll see how that goes good news it's a suppository it's not really a suppository <laughs> Though I guess everything's a supposed Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> so I am using this website called Lighter Pack to break down in something much more comprehensible than my scribbled on index card uh, the weight distribution and like proportions of my pack so that hopefully I can really sit down and look at it and be like, okay, where can I shave off weight? Um, I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to take off any more weight before the backpacking trip this Friday. We leave this Thursday and it is <clears throat> a Monday. So I'm, I'm not going to be able to like order anything, but um, I'm kind of in the boat that I'm going to be in, I feel like. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. I'm going to keep doing this and then check back in with you guys. Beloved Randy and I are having the least glamorous picnic of kippers, grapes, goat cheese, and smoked gouda triscuits up in the living room. Well, first off, look at this beautiful kitty who woke up asleep. Oh, I love you, Ember. Such a good girl. Every day has been a blessed day with you in my life, you sweet little gremlin. You too, Sam. I do love you as well. <laughs> so I've gone through and I've gotten, I think, absolutely every single minute item accounted for, with the exclusion of my food. Um, so let's get into this. We have, let's see, my backpack is at 2.65 pounds. My clothes are at 4.41. My fanny pack and all of its contents are at 1.9. My trekking poles are 1.26. What's that? My potty bag is 0.38. My hygiene stuff, which is like um, my nail treatment. Um, oh gosh, what else was in there? Like some, I don't know. We'll go over that. We'll go over that. Um, first aid kit is 0.55, water system is 0.98, my cook kit is 2.25 pounds, that does include my fuel canister, my tech stuff, battery packs, different things, 1.74 pounds, my warm and base layers are 2.97, my rain gear is at 1.14 pounds, my sleep setup is the bulk of my weight and that is at 8.41. I really like this lighter pack website of just being able to kind of really visualize like I mean it's just it's perfect for this truly. Um so let's take a closer look at we have and I was even able to put in links so that I can look at how much uh I spent on it and stuff. Uh, my backpack I have some extra paracord extra shock cord get in there there we are um, the two binder clips that I use for hanging stuff up to dry um, and I have three small carabiners and again it's this is just I wanted to account for everything before I start shaving stuff off my sleep setup is my hammock my tree straps my tarp my stakes and their ties and that's the paracord guide paracord guy line um, that I use for 
my tie outs for on the stakes, um, my under quilt, my top quilt, my footprint, my seat. For rain gear, that's my frog togs, jacket and pants, and my hat, which is this little guy, which I, I use not just to keep the rain off, but also to keep the bug net kind of held out away from my face. That way the bugs don't just bite me through the uh, netting. Uh, my warm and base layers are my puffy jacket and then my warm pants and thermal shirt that I sleep in, as well as my camp shoes, um, which are currently are actually my garden shoes, but I like them as opposed to sandals for whenever I'm setting up my base camp, um, or just any camp really, because if I'm not looking at where my feet are going, I very often when I'm wearing sandals, I'll get like stabbed in the foot by like a stick, like a stick will find that like spot that isn't covered by fabric and I'll get stabbed in my feet there. So my camp shoes are my garden shoes and they're the only shoes that I have that are very, very lightweight. They dry very quickly um, and they protect my feet from just the hazards of existing a little bit more so than sandals, but they're actually lighter than my Keens, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then my uh, headscarf. For my tech, I have my two battery packs, which that's one of the heaviest things. Oof. Um, they're 12.9 ounces each, so... But if I'm going to be vlogging, that kind of seems to be... Uh, necessary and then a charger I'd love to have carried a three foot charger just because I don't need it to be six feet long um, but we couldn't find any so and all of the chargers we have in the house are like 10 to 15 feet long <laughs> oh goodness and then the charger for my smartwatch my cook kit is my fuel my pot my uh, pocket rocket stove um, my cleanup rag the this material cozy and lid, um, the stuff sack that it all goes into. I think, y'all, I am going to become a tea drinker. I mean, I love tea anyhow, but my collapsible coffee brewer is 2.9 ounces plus the creamer that I bring for it, plus the coffee itself. Whereas I take my tea just with like two teaspoons of sugar in it for like, you know, what is that? 17 ounces or 17 fluid ounces. Um, and also, I think it'll be better to be using my thermos without any creamer in it. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know yet. But that's probably going to be one of the first things that I um, shave off. And then, I still... I'm going to be bringing two spoons. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, my water filter setup is my Sawyer Mini. Uh, the two smart bottles smart water bottles, my three liter water bladder, and then an extra bottle holder for my belt. Um, that way I have just, I don't have to like reach around to my backpack because it's really difficult to remove the bottles. Um, I can just have one there on my belt. For my first aid kit, I actually went through and broke it down separately. It's three ounces, but I am bringing my old pair of glasses with me just because every time Randy and I go do anything outside, whether it's hike or kayak or what, it'll be like a lens will pop out of my glasses. Or when we went kayaking, he completely lost his glasses, like they got taken by the current. Um, and it's, we are both blind to the extent that if we do not have our glasses, we're basically useless. Like, um... I am a hazard to myself if I'm walking around without glasses on because my depth perception and everything is just shot. Um, I, I even weighed the stuff sacks. So we've got the outer stuff sack, the tampons, tiny mirror, painkiller assortment, inner stuff sack, the standard med kit stuff. A lot of it was so light individually, I just weighed it all together. Um, but it's I have one or two of each type of bandage. Like I took everything that came standard in this medical kit from Amazon and split it in half. So it's like I didn't need all four packets, I don't think, of Neosporin. So I have two little packets of Neosporin. And so I was able to cut its weight by half already. Um, but hopefully I won't need to use any of this stuff, but it will be nice to have, I'm sure. Some moleskin, and that's in addition to my next care tape anti-diarrheal pills, uh, water purification tablet, which is a redundancy to my filter, but just in case, that's pretty important. Um, it's a bit of duct tape and a redundancy, a second lighter, but this one is in two waterproof bags. Like, so hopefully if something bad does happen or unforeseen, 
um, I'll still be able to set stuff on fire. I think I might cut my towel in half. That's at 3.8 ounces, but that's a 20 inch by 40 inch towel. I just don't know if I'm gonna need that big of a towel because it's not like I'm like washing and I don't even have long hair anymore. That's whenever I purchased this towel, I had very long hair. And so I wanted something that if I got stuck out in the rain or something, um, and my head got so like soaking water through my hair I wanted to be able to wrap my hair up and get it really dry the way that you know get my head dry and warm um, But now that I have short hair, I don't think I'm gonna need all that um, This is the stuff sack that I keep everything in um, bringing some like this style of menstrual cup because that's my preference to the tampons, but just in case, I don't know, like if, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, and this is where I feel like uh, I don't want to be over prepared, but I also don't want to be under prepared. Um, toothbrush and paste, earplugs in a case, and my nail nut medication, a nail clip, very small nail clippers with a file, a um, couple of q tips, and some like dental floss sticks, my little things of soap that I showed earlier. Uh, a buff which I actually use as a washcloth not because it's particularly effective as a washcloth but because it dries so rapidly vitamin E oil and then I am bringing paper and a pencil figured I didn't need to go out and buy a whole new pad of paper if I fill this pad up I will be impressed because I always bring like I'll buy like a new little like, tiny little journal and bring it with me and then not write in it at all but so this time I'm just bringing what we already had around the house then the potty bag and again it's you can see you know off here off to the side all of the um, weights of everything so for the potty bag we have the actual stuff sack the clean toilet paper shovel body powder wet ones and then um, a couple of quart double lock freezer bags for daily use uh, to just put all of the dirty bits in my trekking poles, which is the trekking poles themselves, they are removable rubber tips. Um, I prefer to use them without the tips, but my friend Delara, who's also our guide for this trip, I think at one point having a conversation with her, I think it was her at least, um, had recommended that they're actually really nice for if there's a lot of like slick stone and stuff, it's nice to have those rubber tips. And then I also have a phone attachment for the selfie stick head. Um, the way that, because like my trekking poles where you have like, let me just show you, right here opens up and you can like attach a phone attachment or a camera or something. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then all the stuff that's in my fanny pack, we have the fanny pack itself, my headlamp, the bug head net, my hand fan which may be something that I take out, I don't know, because it's only supposed to get up to 70 degrees, we'll see. Tweezers, can't live without them. Like, if I get splinters, I absolutely like, gotta get it out. Um, next care tape, some lens wipes for my glasses, another lighter, the fire tabs, my emergency whistle slash compass, um, my knife, chapstick, bug spray, extra batteries, a hair tie, which now that I have short hair, it isn't as important, but it is also very useful to just have an elastic for, it's one of my MacGyver tools. Um, my daily meds, like vitamins and allergy and stuff, my drink mix, and my phone. Now for clothes, I have factored in, and also I have all of this stuff marked as being worn because it's all in the fanny pack, so it's not actually in the backpack. Um... So, I don't know, and that's very, very easy to just, like, unselect as well. So, for my clothes, I have two pairs of sock liners, um, three pairs of Danish endurance wool socks, two sports bras, two undies, and then my leggings and shirts are different enough that I couldn't just do the same weight for each of them. So, I have my athleta leggings with deep pockets. And then my athleta leggings that have zipper pockets. And that's whenever I read that, I can differentiate in my mind. I know which is which. Um, and then I have my two, like that's my stack of clothes right there. Um, so that's my first pair of leggings, my second pair of leggings. And then I have these two sun shirts. And then on top here, I have these two tank tops that I had planned on wearing underneath the sun shirts. And then I thought about it and I was like, I don't even really think... Like, lately, when I'm out in the garden, I just wear a sun shirt and a sports bra. Like, I don't know if I need that additional layer. 
and that would save me 8.6 ounces. So I think that's going to be one of the first things that I'm going to shave off. And that's that. So currently pre-shaving, um, we're at a total of 33 pounds. Now granted, this is not including my food or my water. It is my fuel, but it is not my food and water. Um, <clears throat> so let's get to shaving. My super late night dinner is one of those giant zucchini, or not zucchini, why do I keep saying that? Patty pan squash, four eggs, cause we are lousy with them. And let me see if I can dig it up. There's a bit of some of that pre-made jasmine rice in there. Just a bit. There it is. Hey rice. <laughs> All pan fried and about a tablespoon of butter. Guys, so it's a little after midnight. I'm doing a couple of things over here on Randy's computer and just getting things figured out and sorted in preparation for tomorrow with our live stream, with getting the kiln loaded and unloaded again tomorrow. I'm just, man, I, I, I talk pretty frequently sometimes to myself in my head maybe about it's the daily grind that shapes us into who we are and it's the being mindful of that that helps us be, you know, participants in our own life instead of just, you know, looking up from what we're doing and being like, gosh, where is the time gone? Where's the day? And I feel like I'm looking up from the grinding wheel, um, being like, gosh, where is my day gone? <laughs> like, where is my week gone? Where is my month gone? Like, oh, what have I been doing? Have I been taking steps in the right direction? I don't know. We'll see. Taking steps. My ankle hurts like I've been taking steps. I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to get a haircut tomorrow. It is quite long. Like, <laughs> I went from having hair down to like the middle of my back to being like, mmm, this is a couple inches too long, but I think I'm going to get it really tidied up on the sides, maybe keep the length up top. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, this is it for today's vlog, you guys. Um, keep on keeping on. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy, oh, happy crafting. Just everything's just a jumble. Keep on keeping on, y'all. Bye. <laughs>